Hello, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Uh, from the river here, as you can see, um, we're literally in the East River right yeah. now. It's quite clean. Uh, it's all been cleaned up, and it looks beautiful. It's you pleasant. can see there. Yes. It's warm. <laughs> it's uh, it's not only warm. It's actually extremely hot um, <laughs> here in the East River, and. Um, I was just reading in the comments as we went on air here that everybody else is saying that it's like extremely hot extremely even in hot. the mountains. It's really hot and nasty out here. You know, New York City in the summer is, it's like a smelly sauna, yep. basically. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, anyways, we're really glad to see you here at the session tonight. Um, the theme tonight is on the river, and this was selected by Mora and and Connor, the uh, leaders for tonight. We will talk more about them in a second, but for now we'll just do our um, our starting stuff as we usually do. Um, so if you're new here and you're wondering what we're doing, uh, you can go down in the description of this video to read more about the session and about Tune Supply, which is our little operation that we run here on the river. Um, the mailing list link is down there, and I mentioned last time that we have started sending out the two names for Chris and my set on the mailing list, in addition to two, two sets from the um, guests. Right. So if you want to get on the mailing list, we will make sure to get you at least four sets ahead of time um, per session, so you can play, uh, learn them or practice them. And uh, lastly, the contribution link is down there. Um, as it is also on top of Chris's head. And that is important because the contributions are how we keep this thing going. This is the 35th session Woo. today, tonight, um, which is crazy and that deserves great. A move. Oh, yes, definitely. Woo! Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and we will be going for a while more, at least. We're not sure how long, but. Um, if you've been here the last couple sessions, we've been saying we will go as long as um, as long as you want. So uh, if you can throw a few bucks into the uh, virtual tip jar, virtual contribution jar on top of Chris's head, you can literally throw it at your screen and yeah. it actually goes through the screen. It's true, it jar. works. It's magic. Um, that will allow us to keep going. We pay our leaders, of course, and our special guests. Um, and then I haven't said this in a while, but I was just thinking, I was doing some social media today and I was thinking I should say this. I'm going to say it once because then I'm going to be really embarrassed after I say it. And that is mm -hmm. like us on YouTube. Is that you? Yeah. Like, right. I get, I don't know. Like us on YouTube, friend subscribe. us on Facebook. Subscribe oh, subscribe, on subscribe yes. us on YouTube, like us on Facebook. We do have an Instagram where we post uh, silly artwork and quality content quality content yeah. of various uh, low quality sorts and um, that's it right that's all our social media yeah yeah so we'd love to be your friend on all of that sort of stuff um, I haven't seen avocado lately have you no I haven't you should where wonder where oh 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 avocado is out for a snorkel oh avocado snorkeling in the East River I hope that's safe yeah avocado what are you doing oh wow huh Huh, okay, I didn't right. even know that avocado snorkel, did he, you? I didn't know that he or she could swim. Where did he or she get the snorkel? I don't know. Probably the same place probably he or she James got. Probably from James Yoshizawa. Yeah, probably from James Yoshizawa. <laughs> We're going to have to talk to talk to James about that. Okay, anyway, so enough silliness. Well, probably not enough. We'll see. But um, we're going to start off with a few tunes here. And uh, the first one's actually a tune that I uh, love. It's on my CD, and we haven't played it here we either, either haven't bit. played it ever or it was not played in a lot of sessions. Yeah. So we'll start with Maids of Selma. Um, this is not a common tune, but we do play it at Mario's. Yeah. So I think the Mario's originals will know it. And then we will do Morrison's. Hopefully everybody knows that. Yes. And the Roaring Barmaid to end off. And do you think we should get out of the water? Oh, you, we got out of the yeah. water. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so we wouldn't want to get water on the... On your violin. No, that would uh, that would not be good. So we'll start off with these, and then I will uh, introduce you to our leaders for tonight. Great. You know, I didn't tune. Oh. So maybe I should tune. <laughs>
fast, actually. I, no, I didn't. That was, I, you know, <laughs> all day I've been feeling like I had no energy, no drive to do anything. And then as soon as I started playing, I just felt like playing fast. So I guess when you feel that urge, you should do so. I Although I want to apologize. I didn't intend to go that fast. Sorry about that. Um, that was nice. Yeah. That was really nice. Um, okay. So uh, I mentioned that we have some amazing leaders. We actually have a really cool lineup. I mean, yeah, we always have a really lineup. cool lineup, but... Extra great. It's extra great, like always. Um, we have a duo, and they're actually a, an actual duo. Besides being on the session together as a duo, they, they have like regularly a, play together. Yes, they yes. have like a professional duo in addition. Which helps. Yes, um, and so our two leaders are Maura Sean Scanlon and Connor Hearn, and they are part of the duo Rakish, and I believe they're in the comments as Rakish duo. Oh. I don't know if they're both there. Oh, or yes, not, I but see. Rakish, Rakish Duo. Rakish Duo is here. I already saw Connor Hearn in the comments as himself. Oh, so Somewhere. he has yes. duplicated himself somehow. Yeah. Excellent. So you can you can talk to them there, and they'll be our um, leaders for tonight. And they actually are coming from a location on the river, yes, which very is very exciting. lovely. We'll see that in a minute. And then our two uh, special guests are Brenda Castles, which I'm really excited about. Her second appearance, right? Second appearance. Or she third. No, second. Okay. Second appearance. I feel like I see Brenda all the time on right. the internet for things we're doing. So I think it's this. I think it's her second appearance. She she led a session in the first month or two, right. which was spectacular. With and Anna. You go see it. Yeah, right. with Anna. Um, that's our only session that has been led by two women. I just realized. Oh, yeah. we, should we should probably do that, that. again. Yeah. Um, so we've got Brenda, and then we also have Matthew Olwell doing some dancing. Very nice. Which is really a treat and an honor for us. So. Um, Without further ado, I think we should maybe go have some tunes uh, with the duo. Okay. So here we go. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming to this Mario session with us. I'm Connor. This is Mora. Hi. We're going to play some tunes for y'all, and hopefully you can play along with us at home. Um, so we'll start off now with a, uh, a set of tunes in six. The first one's a slide, and the, the next two tunes are jigs. Um, and we'll, we'll play the Star Above the Garter in G, and then the Cliffs of Moor in A minor, and then we'll go into the Maid on the Green, also in G, which feels apropos. You can't see everything, but we're, we're out here like maids on the green ourselves. So. We're on the green! <laughs> Thank you. 
duet with TJ? Brian. Brian. Oh, and Brian's here. Mm -hmm. Actually, I saw him sign in to the to the virtual to the pub. pub. <laughs> um, that was gorgeous. That was lovely. The setting what is... a nice setting. Yeah, I was just, I, I'm just staring at the, um, the greenery, which is something we don't get to see a lot of, although we did go on a field trip, yes. Chris and I, to the wilds of Connecticut yesterday. Um, it was wild. It was. There, there were, were a lot of trees and there were and a lot trees, of animals. Yeah. It was great. And um, we are not going to do our report on our field trip until the next session because we actually had have so many um, community contributions tonight because the theme that Maura and Connor picked is so great. Um, but we will make a report on our trip for the next one. Um, speaking of contributions, community contributions, we are going to divide the pictures that you sent up into two batches again because there were so many good ones. And we're actually just going to launch right in and show a few of those. Um, if you're new to the session, I just wanted to say what's going on here. You can submit pictures related to the theme, and we put them on the show. Um, so, who do we have here? Angela you, Botzer. Is it Angela Botzer? It is. Excellent. Yeah. Angela Botzer's name comes first in the alphabet, and mm -hmm. so her pictures go on first. And I believe this is the Bighorn River? Yep, Bighorn River, Wyoming. In Wyoming. And she said that this was the view on her way to go get groceries this morning. Which... Mm -hmm. Kayak to get groceries? Or? Well, I suspect she's on a road. I'm oh, not sure. Or maybe she's riding a, a bison. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm jealous of the view. That's yeah, gorgeous. That okay. Um, this is Anya Fini. She sent um, some pictures of the river, the river Liffey oh. in Ireland, of course. Very cool. And she said that she lived there, I think, about 10 years ago and was on the rowing team. Um, and those are a few pictures of her on the rowing team. I was always jealous of people who were on the rowing team. 
Uh, it looks pretty hard. Yeah, but it, but it, it looks pretty fun to me too. Yeah. And I wanted to be on the rowing team when I was in college. Yeah. And they told me I was too small to be a rower, but too big to be the person who yells at the rowers. Oh, sad. I know, it was sad. Um, okay, and let's see. Who are these from? Bonnie Lubinsky. So she sent um, three pictures in from uh, New York City, which mm -hmm. is where we are. This is a foggy view of the river. In fact, you can't even see the river. Um, looking over towards Queens. Cool. That would be the East River there. And um, if you're a New Yorker, you'll recognize this scene. Another picture of uh, the East River. Which bridge is this? This says uh, Triborough Bridges. Excellent. Yeah. And the Hellgate Bridge, maybe? I'm yeah, not sure. Hellgate, yeah. yeah. And here's another picture looking at Manhattan there. And the Whitestone Bridge. Yep. So there's some pictures of our uh, homeland, current homeland. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Juliana Manning, who is roommates with Anya Fini, and she said that she sent in pictures um, of uh, the um, Liffey as well, which I think is the second picture, but this is from the, um, London when she lived there. She said she had a commute on the ferry, oh, which was the it. most pleasant commute she's ever had. And wow, that is gorgeous. That's beautiful. That is from the Liffey uh, in Ireland as well. Yes. So that's our first grouping of pictures. And um, sometimes we have time to get pictures on during the broadcast. It depends on how much uh, technical magic Chris is doing. Um, so if you want to send in a picture related to On the River, you can send it to tunes at tune.supply. Yep. There's no .com. It's just tunes at tune.supply. And we will see if we can get into the second batch of community pictures. Um, OK, so I think that we will maybe have some more tunes. OK, cool. Okay. I think this is the designated slow set, I think. Oh, excellent. So enjoy. All right, well now we'll play the set of slow reels. The first one we'll play is called Black Tops, and we'll play that in F. And the second is the Claire Reel, which we'll play in G.
some really nice sound for being outside. I know, I was so impressed. Yeah, it's really impressive. Um, I mean, they're amazing musicians as well, but it's yeah. hard to get good sound hard to, yeah. when you're playing That's outside, so it's just gorgeous. Yeah. I'm feeling calmed down from yeah. my stressful day just listening. We've been trying to shoot a little bit of video outside, not even playing, just talking, and the, the tiny bit of wind just obliterates our sound, so. Yeah, you'll see an example yeah. of that later. <laughs> um, so excellent, excellent job. Um, yes, yeah, so that was the slow set uh, from the announced sets. As I was mentioning at the top of the um, session, if you want to get on the email list, we send out the slow and fast sets for each um, session ahead of time. So go grab, go get yourself on the mailing list yeah. and um, you can get those as well. Uh, okay, now we have two reports from the field tonight because people were extra expi expired, <laughs> extra, extra inspired. <laughs> uh, extra inspired by the theme. Um, so we're gonna do our first one right now. And this comes from um, Bob Beamers. And before we go, I'm just gonna tell you where the music came from, because it's kind of cool. So um, there is, was, I don't know what, what tends to use in current strange times, but there is a session at the Landmark on Monday nights during non-coronavirus times. And it's run by Don Mead. And uh, Bob Beamers took some um, recording there before everything shut down. And that's the background to his report from the field. And the tune that he's playing, I actually don't know this tune, it's called Heinz March, and he learned it from Don Mead. Uh, Bob is playing on the Jones miniature concertina, oh, which is my favorite. It's about this big. The wee one. The wee one, and Don is playing the harmonica. Cool. So this should remind you of the landmark if you've ever gone there. All right. Excellent. That last vote was going really fast. Yeah, it's that's racing. Weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think that's the view from Bob's apartment building. Oh, cool. Which is pretty cool. I actually don't, Bob, you'll have to tell us approximately where that is. I don't recognize the spot. I think it's upper Manhattan, maybe. I'm not sure, but um, excellent. I love it. And we have another report from the field from- More uh, report coming. Um, 
actually from James and Fong coming up later. So that'll be great. James is just trying to get on the session a bunch of weeks in a row. Yes, he's trying row. to beat Margot Criminal's yeah. I see what's going uh, on, James. <laughs> It's a good, I, I support that. I, That's good. good tactic, we can yeah. have James on all the time. That's yeah. totally fine. Um, okay, so we're going to have, actually, speaking of special guests, we're going to have our first uh, set of special guests. Um, and that is Brenda Castles from Dublin. Is she from Dublin originally? I don't know. She's in Dublin right now. Um, so she's there. And then we have Math Matthew Olwell is going to be dancing. I think he's in North Carolina, I think. And speaking of North Carolina, we're all supposed to be in North Carolina this week at the Swan and Noah gathering. And we are not, which is quite sad. Um, but I, this is actually a good theme for the Swan and Noah week session mm -hmm. on the river, yeah. um, with all the greenery. So I, I miss you all, all the people who are going to be down in Swan and Noah. Wait, was it, it was last week, right? Mm, I think it's this week. Yeah. Because Fairbanks Summer Arts Festival is next week. Is it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think it's. I think Fairbanks is this week, and it's hard to know what it was last oh, week. Oh no! Yeah. Okay, I'm off by a week. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Anyways, we're sad to miss Swan and Noah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and then I'm also just going to say, while this set is happening, I am going to remove Chris's river hat and put my hair up because I'm roasting. Oh, no. And I, I actually hate having my hair down, which is why you've never seen it down before. Um, so uh, thank you for letting me wear yeah, your river course. hat. Mm -hmm. And um, okay, here we go. Some tunes from Brenda. Hello, everyone uh, from Dublin uh, in Ireland. I'm uh, just on James's Street here opposite the Guinness factory. Um, I'm going to play a few tunes. I'm delighted to be playing a few tunes for Matthew Olwell to dance to. I've always been a big fan of his dancing. So I'm going to play a hornpipe into a fling uh, and maybe finish up with a reel. So uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, the names of them are Kitty Hayes, um, the Forgotten Fling and the Glanthorn, I think. Open to correction on those.
right. That was great. Excellent. Lovely. Oh, I haven't seen Matthew in a long time, and I, I think he's been having an exciting summer, not for not just for the reasons that everybody is having a crazy summer, but he moved recently. Oh, cool. As well, on, on top of everything else, which sounds wow. very stressful. And I'm, I've actually been um, wanting to have him on for like a month or more. Yeah. He was kind of like uh, Ryan. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we just couldn't find the time, and finally we got him on, so that was really, really excellent. So Matthew is from the uh, Olwell dynasty you may have heard of. His dad and his brother are famous flute makers and players. Yeah, yeah. Um, an excellent, excellent family. I first met them uh, a year or two after I came to New York. We, the Brat Pack, as we were known, took a little uh, road trip down to Charlottesville, cool. and I think that's where I met them. Cool. So, nice. cool stuff. Uh, okay, I can think better now that my head is out of the hat. I have an affliction, which is that my head is very large, mm -hmm. and it doesn't like being in hats. So now, now I can speak clearly, and of course I clearly remember now that yes Swananoa's Celtic week was last week right. sorry about that I have overheating brain syndrome did going your, on did your parents tell you it was to fit all your brains in oh yes I've been told that yeah and uh, my mom gave me this this lovely fluffy hair that in the summertime gets particularly terrible um, as well thank you mom for the big head and the frizzy hair I, I appreciate it a lot yeah. Now, this is actually Chris's hat, it by the way. It looks better on you than it looks on me. I it's very know. nice. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a few pictures to contribute this evening. Um, these first few, there's four of them, and they were from a very exciting river trip that I took last year with my friend Erin Tilly. She might be watching, I'm not sure. This is her uh, very cute Alaskan truck, and of course we have two boats um, on the truck. Which was, and we had four people, two boats, and two dogs in the car at one mm -hmm. point. And this is uh, us getting into the Chattanooga River, um, maybe, what is it, like 40 miles north of Fairbanks, something like that. This is Aaron's dog, which uh, he was riding in our canoe, and uh, there was another dog in the other canoe. Um, and I think I have one selfie picture of myself and Aaron before yep this is before any disaster struck mm -hmm. you can see we're quite excited here to be going down the river now i am not a good canoeer i'm a pretty good kayaker but a bad canoeer and what happened was um well maybe we should go to the camera so they i mean this dog is very cute i'll tell you what happened to the dog after after i explained so we were going down and i took that lovely selfie and then um, we were coming to a bend in the river, and the Chattanooga didn't have a lot of water in it last mm. summer, um, which actually makes it a little more dangerous when you're going around the curves. And Erin um, is an excellent canoeer, and she was like, okay, here we go, we're gonna go around the, yeah. the curve. Um, she's like, okay, you need to paddle on the left. So I was doing that. Well, I didn't paddle enough on the left. And we were coming into like a sweeper on this side and a curve, and it's getting all crazy, and all of a sudden, the boat tips over in the middle of a rapid, sucked underneath. It is amazing how your brain goes immediately into survival mode, yeah. especially when the water is cold yeah. and you start getting that reflex. I can't remember what it is when your body just starts going <gasps> like right, that and right. you can't control it. It's so weird. Anyway, so I popped up, I went under the canoe, popped up. You don't, you're not thinking clearly. It's such a strange feeling. Um, and I managed to get myself to the, to the water and Aaron grabbed the dog, got to the water. And then we're all we're all on the side. We had the other boat, and they came over and checked us. We were okay. We had somehow grabbed everything, including a floating box of bagels. Um, saving the important things. Saving yeah. the important things. The dog and the bagels were saved. Everything yeah. was good. We um, lost half of a half a kayak paddle, which was our emergency paddle, so that was fine. Right. And we lost my uh, thrift store sunglasses that I bought in Toronto. Right. Yeah. Um, but we get to the shore, and we're looking, and we're like, "Where is the canoe?" And we thought maybe it had floated down the river, but no, we would have seen it. Where's the canoe? Mm -hmm. It was wedged, huge canoe wedged underneath the sweepers, the tree Scary. sweepers. And so um, uh, we had to wade out and unhook it from under the branches, which was really scary. And we finally got it back to shore and it, the, um, the metal uh, part on the side of the boat had been um, bent by wow. the force. Mm -hmm. Whew, scary stuff. You think you're just yeah. gonna go on like a little river trip, everything's fine. Right, right. I wasn't like wearing the right shoes or clothes or anything. Anyways, anything. Everyone was fine. Well, nothing that, nothing the, bad happened. Nothing bad happened. And 
uh, the good thing was the dogs were okay, and that picture at the end was Aaron's dog having a nice sleep on the back bench of the pickup truck on the drive back to Fairbanks. Very wet. Uh, the dogs must have been so scared. Probably. They didn't yeah. know what was going yeah. on. Anyways, okay, so that was my first couple of pictures. And then these other couple of pictures, uh, this first one is near our house here. Now, this is an actual sandy beach in lower Manhattan. Which we discovered when we were just out walking, not looking for a beach. Yeah, and it's crazy. There it is, yeah. You can't actually get on it, or you're not supposed to. Yeah. Um, but we often go and uh, check for migrating birds that um, hang out on the beach. Right. So strange. That's the FDR right there, right underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. And then I had a couple of pictures here of a uh, tugboat. So... Um, a few years ago, I got contacted by the head of McAllister Towing, which is one of the big tugboat companies here. The best one, I'd say. And he wanted me to play some music for a gig, which I did. And then uh, we struck up a little friendship, and he invited me to go for a ride on the tugboat on the tugboat race day. Did you know there's a tugboat race? Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. And so we raced all these tugboats down the Hudson, and it was so amazing, and we won, of course. Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know if you can read this on your screens, but I was so excited afterwards, I wrote down the stats for this new tugboat that they had just gotten. You can see that it has incredible power. Uh, just amazing, amazing boats. And um, so, and then this last picture is the second gig I did for the tugboat company on their 150th anniversary. It's family owned, passed through five generations of uh, the male line straight down mm. through five generations. And they love music. We played music. And you can see here that um, Tony DeMarco is there, of, uh, of course. course. But do you recognize the guy to his left? Uh, I don't think so. This is a famous movie star. Oh. His name is Tate Donovan. Oh. And it turns out that he plays the fiddle. That's great. And he was at this party. And so we were like, you want to play some fiddle? And he jumped up. And that's he's that's playing my amazing. fiddle along with Tony DeMarco on the concert. Very so cool. I, I was thinking, like, this is an interesting thing about being a musician, especially in New York, is you, you make these strange little connections, and who would have thought you'd play a gig and you get to go on a tugboat, right? right? It's pretty fun. Okay, so those are my only pictures for tonight. That's all you have to sit through. There are more from you guys coming up. Um, but before we do that, let's, um, let's have some more tunes from Connor and Moore. Okay. Now we're going to play two jigs in A. The first is called the Cooley Jig, and the second is called the Rambler.
was trying to figure out what's on Mora's mask. I don't know if she's don't know. if she's at the session tonight in real life and on screen. Um, but I want to know. It's either some cool artwork or some fishes or some camouflage. Those are my guesses. Yeah. We'll have to see if she's there. Um, okay, so it is the halftime of the session. Not too long after the halftime. We're doing better than last time yes. when we went way over. Um, and so at the halftime, we have a little poem from uh, Miriam Buell. I, her, her real name is Miriam. I call her Mimi, as do most people in the session, but I do want to note for everyone that her name is Miriam. And um, I think she's on a little bit of an upstate getaway right now. Yes, uh, I think so. Yes, and there's, of course, another dog that we've been seeing in the, in the videos lately. So uh, let's go see what Mimi has for us tonight. And then Mario's um, a very, very bad poem this evening. I was aided in its creation by my sister and brother-in-law. Thank you, Maura and Connor, for doing the honor of joining our session tonight. Your tunes are impressive. They help our digestives. They give us good feelings inside. Please chip into the box if you can. Help keep us going. Thank you to Caitlin and Chris, as always. Thursday is uh, John Redman and Matt Stapleton. Thanks to our special guests. And stay safe. Eat your kibble. Wow. Ah! Two dogs. Oh my gosh. I could just watch that for the entire session, actually. Yeah. Um, Mimi told me the name of the second dog, and I've forgotten. It starts with a C. Hmm. Conrad? No. I don't know. I, I can't remember. Um, uh, Amos looks extremely relaxed, which is good. I think Amos likes Upstate. I think Amos likes yeah. Upstate. Uh, and Mimi sent me a picture of them snuggling, which I haven't shown you no. yet. Oh my gosh. So good. Um, excellent. Very good to see Mimi. And as she mentioned, um, the halftime is when we usually send the contribution box around, which looks like this. So you can imagine yourself putting a few bucks in there and drinking out of your Guinness in a real glass that Mary has served to you at a real table with your real friends playing some real tunes with Kevin Crawford. Um, you can imagine the sound of your, your dollar coin, bills. The sound of your dollar bills? They don't really make any sound. I guess if we were like on a TV show, they would make some sound. Yes. We've been watching The Americans and... Um, marveling at the sound design yes. like when anybody is doing anything like papers are moving around or, or eating the eating, eating sounds oh, are incredible the eating sounds yeah. oh man in my next life i want to be a sound designer for tv shows It'd be amazing anyways you can you can imagine the sound of your dollar bills going into the contribution box using that link on chris's head um or the link i've been putting in the comments and it's down in the description as well and if you're watching in the future from the future and we are in the past um, you can still put the money in the contribution box. The way it works is we always guarantee the leaders um, a certain fee. And sometimes we make enough and sometimes we don't, but we always pay them the fee. If there's extra from any given week, we roll that over to the next week and we keep this going as long as we can. Um, so thank you for anything you can give. And you, if you are here every week and you want to automate it to save time and energy, um, there is a weekly option when you go to that link. And of course... You can cancel that at any time. We encourage you to do that if times are tough. Or if you find us annoying or... I mean, I don't know how anybody doesn't find us annoying at this right. point, but yeah. yes, you can cancel at any point when you, when you need to. Um, okay, I have some other quick updates that I've written down so that I don't say them wrong. Um, there is no session on the 27th. That is next Monday. The reason is because Chris and I are heading up to Alaska for some amount of time we don't know how long we have one-way tickets we have a one-way ticket <laughs> to alaska we will be continuing to do all the tune supply stuff from alaska but we need a day to get reset up so next monday no session um we have a really cool virtual learning project in the works i just started uh started working on it and it is for actually uh, uh harmony players accompaniment players um, and Marta Cook will be helping me with it and a few other uh, people who have been on the session. So stay, stay tuned for that. We're brainstorming and we're getting it set. I'm actually excited because uh, all of our stuff, our virtual learning stuff, I think, has been for Melody players, right? Yeah. Well, and um, Anna did the one. Anna, lesson. right. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have some stuff for, for the backers out there. Um, Johnny Cuomo, who hasn't been on the session in a while, um, but uh, produced with us a kid's um show back in june beginning of june yeah 
And he just... Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember. Anyways, his second episode is going to come out in August, and we actually got a date, which we're going to tell you. It is August 22nd. Saturday, August 22nd is the second episode. So if you got kids or you're a kid at heart like we are, um, you can mark your calendars and we'll, we'll give you more information about that. And the special guest on that actually is Dennis Lichtman. Yes, who that'll be thrilling. appears on our concerts with many Dennis Lichtmans in the same frame. Yes. The Dennis Lichtman Quarantet. Um, so that'll be great. Um, we are planning concerts while we're up in Alaska, which uh, we will shortly announce what they are. And we have a big possible concert coming up. I'm not going to say the name because it's not confirmed, but I'm so excited that it might happen. So we will let you know. And also, I just want to say thank you for being patient with us. This last month, we haven't done as much stuff as we have in the previous three months. We got a little burned out, and so we kind of pulled it back a little bit. And now we're, I think, ready to get going again um, in a new place. So thanks for bearing with us while we while we figure out the world as everybody is doing. Um, okay, on that note, more tunes. Okay. Okay, welcome back to the river, everyone. Um, we thought we could all play some polkas now. And we'll do some of our favorite polkas. The first of which is the trip to Dingle, D. And the second of which is a polka called Johnny O'Leary's, also in D.
excellent. Awesome. Um, I don't know that first polka, and I might have to steal it. That's a great set. Yeah. Excellent set. And uh, Richard Walker said, what do I know that second tune as? I also think I know it as another name, hmm. and I can't remember. I bet James Cleveland knows. Probably. If he's here. Or Don Mead. Don Mead definitely see, knows. You could see what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are excellent. I feel like we don't play enough polkas in the New York sessions. Yeah, they're really fun to play fast. Yes, they are, and there's some good ones, but we always play the same five or so, so uh, we might have to steal those and use them. Um, okay, speaking of James Cleveland, actually, I didn't plan that transition, but it worked well. Mm. Uh, James and Fong sent us uh, a second report from the field relating to the theme. Now, they were um, on the last session as official special guests, and today they are on as the um, uh, second report from the field, but it's great. And this tune that they're playing is one that I learned um, in Alaska at the Juno Folk Fest, at oh, the really? Alaska Folk Fest. Yeah. Um, and I don't hear very many people play it at all, so I was very excited to, to hear that they did it. And um, they also did their own editing, which is pretty spectacular. <laughs> I don't know if James did it or Fong did it. Yes. But it's great. It's very well done. So, here you go. Very nice. Beautiful. Lovely. Woohoo! Um, so I think that was on the Upper West, up, upper west Side. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was yeah, a Hudson. Said, uh, in Riverside Park. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. you can see the George Washington Bridge in the background there. Yeah. And some of the huge boats that go up and down the Hudson yeah. were in the background. Um, it is kind of nice that we can play outside. I feel like nobody's bothering anybody for doing anything outside right now. Yeah. Which is great. Including... You can get a drink outside, yeah. which is great. We have just, we live down by the seaport, and 
there's this guy who oh. plays he sets up his drum set every night around probably seven o'clock and just plays presumably until he gets kicked out we've walked by him multiple times and the police have been sort of bothering him but i guess they can't do anything because he must not technically be breaking any laws yeah he's and he's loud he's, he's really, really loud. loud i'm glad yeah. we don't live closer to him because yeah, yeah. he's really loud um but fiddles i think are nicer to yeah, playing outside I agree. yeah Lovely, and uh, Fong said that was her first uh, editing job. Oh, very cool. Very, very nice. nice Loved it. Um, okay, so let's see. What's we do next? have more community pictures, but we're going to do them after this next set. Yes, set of tunes first. Yes. All right. There we go. Well, to slow it down a little, we thought we'd play a classic O'Carroll in tune. Um, we'll play Shreg Shamor. Hopefully everyone knows it and can all join along with us. That's a beautiful tune. All these tunes are so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, I was just thinking as they were playing, I don't know if Rakish, the, the duo, has any CDs. And I know that they're both in the comments. So let us know, Connor and Mora, if you have a CD. I can look it up as well and we can put the link in. Um, I think we have to put the link in. YouTube won't let the YouTube you guys do it. YouTube will catch you if you try to... But let us, link, yeah, yeah, let us know because we'll stick the link in there and then hopefully you can uh, grab Mora and Connor's music if you'd like to hear some more. It's so, it's so calming. Yeah. Ah, they're so nice. Um, okay, so we have one more little section of community pictures. This includes about seven, I think, that came in before the session and then you all sent in a whole bunch more, yeah. which we're going to put as many of those as we can 
uh, as, as Chris grabbed from the email uh, on afterwards. Okay, so let's see the ones that were here before. Um, okay, so Kurt Munchau. Am I saying that right? I don't know. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, sent this in, and it is uh, Black Canyon on the Gunnison River. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very nice. And this one is uh, from a float down the Colorado River. Oh, I'm really jealous of that. That looks just lovely. Um, let's see, Laura Johnson. Okay, now I have, a, I, as you all know, I'm bad with pronunciation, and Laura actually sent me the pronunciation of this river that she said that you travel on in order to get to Camp Leakey. And last week, or was it last week? Two weeks ago, we saw the pictures of the uh, gorillas at Camp Leakey. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or orangutan. Right. That's what it was. So I'm going to say the name of this river. Oh, man. Okay. Sekanyer Kachil River that you have to travel down. Great. Um, okay. And then she sent another picture, which is um, of the river. And she said that there's so much tannins in the, so, uh, in the river from d decaying vegetation that everybody looks orange wow. when they go in. Cool. Very cool. And those are from um, Indonesia where she lived for a while, I believe. And, oh, this is from Louisa. Okay, you remember Louisa led the French session mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, and there are talks of having um, a little French cameo. Yep. French session number two, we'll see. Um, Louisa does a lot of things in her life. One of them is that she is a river guide on um, Grand Canyon trips. Did you know that? Yeah. And um, she said that she doesn't take her concertina on the boat because that would be dangerous. But the tin whistle is an excellent boating instrument. And there she is playing some tunes. She said she was supposed to be on the Grand Canyon right now. Um, but, of course, the world yep. had other plans. So um, maybe next summer. And uh, Mary Beth Oaks, how would you pronounce the name of this river, Chris? Owai. 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 I don't know in uh, the canyon lands in yeah. Idaho. That's lovely. Owyhee? I don't know, we need Who a pronunciation yeah. guide on that one. Okay, and then this is from TJ. TJ is a pilot, which yep. I'm so jealous of and so proud at the same time. And this is, of course, a view of lower Manhattan. You can almost see our house from here, actually, mm -hmm. and Randall's Island in the front there. Um, that is the confluence of the East River on the left side, uh, sorry, on the right side there and the Hudson. On the left. I think that's Governor's Island. Oh, sorry, Governor's Island. Area. Sorry. Um, very cool. Okay, now, don't be scared. We have a black screen here because we are bringing up the pictures that came in during the session. And there are a whole bunch we will see here. Um, do you want to talk about these ones, Chris? Uh, I don't know anything about this. Oh. It just says Rebecca Bond. Oh, yes. I okay, so... You, the, can you pull up the email? Sure. Name? This yeah. is from Asheville, I right. believe. Um, okay, and let's see... Rebecca also sent in this picture from Asheville, which is of the Biltmore Estate. There's oh been gosh. some talk of that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. And let's see. Puck sent this in. This is, I think, from Florence. Yeah, this is okay. the Arno in Florence, Italy. And um, it was built, this bridge here was built in 1218. Whoa. Crazy. Cool. Let's see. Peter Kaysen sent this in. It's the, the title here is Me Aboard the Bounty Replica, Fall River, 1991. Very cool. Also from Italy here, this is from Issa Simon. And she said this was her walk to school when she was traveling, uh, when she was studying aboard, abroad in Rome. And um, that's St. Peter's Basilica in the background. Cool. She says it was the best commute ever. Yeah, I bet. All right, a few more here. Let's see. This is from Brian Murchison, and he said this is from Letchworth State Park. Yep, the mighty Niagara River. Cool. And oh, I love this picture from Don. Um, oh, it's really small here. I'll make it bigger. Don McIntyre. From. Um, this is uh, Z Zambezi, Zambezi River in Zambia, Africa. And he says this is the view from their tent. Whoa. And there's a baby in the back. Oh my cool. gosh. Okay. And this is the last one. This is from your mom. 
This is from my mom, and this is the view of the Chena River that runs through uh, Fairbanks downtown. That is, believe it or not, the downtown Fairbanks. And in the uh, winter, the river freezes. It freezes solid enough in places that people drive their cars across it, which it's I was told really never to well do. Well advised, right? No, sometimes yeah. they fall in. Um, but then at some point, the river starts breaking up, and we actually call this breakup season, right. which people who are not from Alaska might think that's when everybody, like, Drop, dumps their boyfriend. That's I don't like know. The few days before or after Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day right. <laughs> yes. So that's the ice that comes down the river there. And um, sometimes, not usually in Fairbanks, but in other places, especially in some of the villages, the ice will get jammed up and create these um, uh, ice dams, which right. then when they burst, cause flooding. It's it's crazy. But that's the, that's downtown Fairbanks right there. Whew. Okay. So that was a lot of pictures. Thanks for sending those in. Very lovely. We have one last uh, tiny short video from TJ um, of some river dwellers. Cute. Very cute baby ducks. Can't go wrong with baby ducks. Um, okay, so we're going to have one more set of tunes from Brenda by herself without Matt. Um, and then we will have some more tunes from Maura. Hi everyone, I hope you've been enjoying the brilliant music uh, and dancing tonight. Um, I'm going to play you another set of tunes now, a few jigs. I only know the name of the first one. Uh, it's called Old Hag, You Have Killed Me. I wonder how you could be saying that when you're dead. Anyway. <laughs>
eat jigs. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Right. <laughs> um, I really like Brenda's analysis of the tune name. Yeah. Really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never thought about that, but it's it's a right. very good point. Yeah. Um, I think we have to have Brenda back to lead the session. She's great. And I like the new plant that she has obtained. She's obtained a plant. She's obtained a plant. Very nice scenery. Uh, yes, it's, it's nice. We'll have to see if the plant has a name, as our plants do. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we have one little video submission from ourselves. We did an extremely strange, weird video on the last session regarding the app Randonautica, which I'm sure you all found creepy. alarming and creepy. Yeah. So this one is not alarming or creepy. We did try to actually speak during the video, or I did, but the wind stopped the speaking from being heard on the camera. So we just put together a little video of our ride on the ferry, the East River Ferry. Now, if you uh, live in New York and you haven't been on the ferry, or if you intend to visit at some point when visiting is allowed, um, the East River Ferry is a really, really cool thing to do. It costs the same amount as the subway, and you can go as far as the Bronx or even all the way to the Rockaways yep. for the same amount of money as the ferry. And Much it, more comfortable. It's really cool. There's, there are new boats that they just put together. Uh, was it last year or the year before? A couple years ago, yeah. Um, they remind me of little like speed speed racer they're really bugs. fast they're, fastest ferries i've ever been on they're extremely fast and maneuverable they're kind of like the tugboats actually yeah and best of all the interior part is air conditioned yeah. and there's a bar though it's not currently open because no. of coronavirus but you can get a um a local beer yep. on tap or even wine on tap yep. it's great and uh do you know who who i first rode the ferry with you know no. Mimi. Oh. She was the one who cool. took me on my first ferry ride. Yeah. And then we actually live very close to one of the ferry docks now, Wall Street. Um, so just for your enjoyment, um, we put together a little video of us riding to Brooklyn last night. Trip. That was just the trip over. We we just we waited too long to make dinner last night. And by the time we got outside, it was dark, and yeah. 
Um, you know, time just is passing weirdly. We didn't manage our time very well. But um, there were some questions about the uh, the ferry ride in the comments. What time does it end? 9.30? The last one, well, we were on the last one leaving oh. Wall Street, mm -hmm. which was 8.40, at least on the East River um, right. line. But then you can get back. If you're going to Manhattan, it's later. It's like 9 or 10 is the last one. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as late as the, the subway, although no. I don't know if you all who aren't in Manhattan know, but or in New York, usually the subway here runs 24-7 and hasn't been. Right. It's not running all night right From now. From 1 to 5, yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, it's like 9.30 or something like that. And there was another question. Um, oh, uh, Diane said, can, you, can we bring our own bores? But then Do she you know, corrected it. Oh, bar. Bar. Can we bring our own bar? I, I, like I don't see. Like granola bar? Granola bars are probably yeah. fine. Um, actually, you know, this brings up a good point, which is that for many years I wanted to do a St. Patrick's Day session on the ferry. Oh, yeah. Because I almost always play for the mayor's breakfast on St. Patrick's Day, which which ends at 8.30 a.m. Right. It ends at 8.30. You usually have to be there at 5 a.m. for security and everything. But there's a ferry dock near there, and I was thinking, we should just go straight from yeah. the mayor's house to the ferry, ride it all the way down here, and play tunes for people going to work. Yes, I think that'd be great. So if things are back to normal... You heard it here. We're going to have yep. a ferry session, ferry session on March 17th. Because we didn't get to have a St. Patrick's Day this year, right. actually. It was stolen. It was stolen by coronavirus. Uh, okay, and um, yes, the music there was War Below Range, which is uh, my band consisting of Kyle Santa, uh, Dan Larry, Alan Murray, and myself. Plus, we had some visitors, um, percussion, James Yoshizawa, um, Matthias Kunzli, and... Uh, Jason, Cypher. Jason Cipher on bass. Um, I didn't put that on because I wanted to be self-promoting. I hate self-promoting, though the, the, the link is on the screen right now. It's simply because I, I wanted to make sure I had the actual rights to play that on YouTube. <laughs> so that's yes. why we used... YouTube gets picked, uh, really picky if you use pre-recorded music. Yes. So... We're probably going to get... I'm probably going to get a copyright claim against we myself, actually. Are, yeah. But we'll <laughs> but be anyway. able to fight it. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Anyways, you can take that down. I'm embarrassed that it's been up Great. so long. Okay. I do so have a CD. What, put it up over your face? No. Okay. <laughs> no, take it down. <laughs> I do have a CD if you're interested. Um, it, there it is. It's, it, the band is called War Below Range. Um, okay, so we've got one more set of tunes from... We're going over again. Connor and Mora. That's okay. It's great. Uh, yes. it's, it's great. Um, okay, so let's go have one more set of tunes. Okay. All right, everyone. Well, we've had so much fun um, this afternoon playing with you and for you. Um, we hope you've had a nice time as well. Um, also, hope you've enjoyed this scenic background we have here behind us. This is the Mystic River in West Medford. Um, and we've had a great time being down by the river Always, um, yeah. this afternoon. So we'll finish off with a set of three tunes. The first tune is a slower one that's called The Eagle's Whistle. And that'll be in G. And then we'll play two reels after that. We'll play The Torn Jacket in D and Lad O'Burns in F. So here we go with this last set of tunes. Thank you. 
if there was an audience yeah um i forgot that i forgot about that um and i was like the kayakers going by in the background perfect. so yeah. perfect and i was just saying in the comments i think that they should do a concert where they face the other direction yeah. and only kayakers are invited to the concert yeah, a boat in concert yeah although it is on the river so you'd have to be constantly you'd, paddling yourself to yeah. stay in place you'd get your workout that's and hear your tunes idea. that's, that's a really, really good, good idea yeah. <laughs> um there's a lot of bad things going on in the world, but I feel like there are some cool, new, innovative yeah. uh, options that we hadn't thought of. Um, so, uh, okay, and then I wanted to also relay a hilarious hashtag-related story really quickly regarding Lunasa. Oh yes. So somebody in the comments there said, uh, "Is that Kevin Crawford when the when the track was playing?" And that reminded me that um, when we had uh, who do we have on? Was it? Kevin and Kevin, Killian. Yeah, when yeah. we had Kevin and Killian on, um, I had hashtagged one of the posters, Lunasa Lads, because sometimes we call them the Lunasa Lads here in New York. And somebody wrote to us on Facebook, maybe maybe this person is watching, and she said, when I read the hashtag, I thought that you had written Luna Salads, which is actually it's accurate. <laughs> accurate. You could read it as Luna, Luna Salads. salads. <laughs> so uh, maybe we should create a Luna salad for the Luna salads. That's a good idea. Mm, yeah. yeah. Strange things about the internet. Um, okay, so we're going to play one more set of tunes just to finish off here. But uh, before we do that, I'll just um, mention the, the, some things about the next session. So um, as Mimi said earlier, it's on Thursday, and it features uh, our favorites, John Redman and Matt Stapleton, who have become right. like the dream team for the Mario's virtual session. I don't know if they played together at the physical session. They must have. I don't know. But now they're like they're a team. Yeah. Um, and they've selected um, a theme, which is uh, favorite trad band. Now, John specified that if you're going to participate in the theme, there is a rule. Favorite trad band refers to groups of three or more people. Okay, so it can't be duos. It can't be rakish. Sorry. It can't be rakish, though. Obviously, that is the favorite. But it has to be three or more um, if you want to participate in the theme. And as usual, go crazy, do whatever you want to do related to that theme. Be creative. I'm not even sure what we're going to do yet. Oh, I had an idea today I Great. mentioned to you. Um, anyways, this the next session is going to be another Common Tunes at Reasonable Speeds session, which we're going to try to do these every so often, maybe once every two weeks or three weeks, um, so that we can make sure you all have the chance to play along at home and are not just listening. Uh, we also uh, have the entire set list 
right now already. And I meant to do this beforehand, but I will do it right after. I'm gonna throw that list up on the virtual learning page on Tune Supply. Um, so I'll try to do it just immediately after this. If you'll, you can go there and you can see the whole list if you wanna um, practice or learn any of the tunes ahead of time. There won't be a learning video, but there will be the list. Um, oh, and there are two really cool special guests next time. Um, Mari Black, incredible fiddle player, mm -hmm. obviously, um, who I met at the Swannanoa gathering two years ago. That'll be really fun. And drum roll for all the New York folks who know who this is, Joey Mullen. All right. Is making an appearance, um, playing the box, which is so cool. It'll be so, his, so his cool. second appearance on the session. That's right. He did a little. He the sent him a little, one, yeah. uh, little snippet by the ocean. Right. Um, but he is the official special guest for next for for the next session. Um, okay, I think that is it. So we are going to play a few slides here now. These two, three, these three tunes are like not the smoothest together in a set. I have to say. Yeah. And whose fault is that? Not mine. It's mine. Um, but we're going to do it anyways. The first tune is Off She Goes. Um, second tune is Palm Sunday. And the third one is Going to the Well for Water. Going to the Well for Water is one I taught a few weeks ago as part of the virtual learning series over on my YouTube channel. So if you like it, you can go and grab it over there. Um, okay, let's see if I can play this without messing up. Me too. Uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Not too fast this time. For okay. real. For real, not too fast. For real. For real. For slides. Get it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Uh, a little speed there at the end. That was nice. That was nice. That felt like a nice float down a lazy river. That yeah, was. Uh, where nobody tips over in their boat. That was good. Um, okay, so we went in a little over. That's okay. Somebody asked in the comments whether the normal Mario session is exactly one and a half hours. It which is it, not. It is not, but it's pretty exactly two hours yes. on the dot. And then there's an after session that goes a little bit faster for up to one hour. And, and that's a hard ending as well. Yes. There's yeah, some, there's some guidelines. At the bar is returned to the bar returned, patrons. Yes. Um, and I actually like it being at two hours yeah. with the optional third it's nice. hour. It's, it's, it's very Manhattan, though, to keep it like, yeah. kind of like right at a, a, yeah, yeah, a short yeah. time frame. It's very efficient. I'll right, say that. Right. Um, okay. So don't forget, uh, there is a session on Thursday. Yep. Uh, Slow session with, um, with John. John and Matt. But there is no session next Monday, one week from today, because right. we will be resetting up in Alaska. Um, don't forget to contribute if you are able to. That is what keeps this show on the road, or not on the road as it is. <laughs> it's about to be on the road. It's about to be on the road, that's true. But what's the new word for like for shows? Um, it keeps the show in the house. Yeah. I guess, I don't know. Um, anyways, sorry, we get a little silly at the end. Uh, contribution link is is there. Okay. I'll throw it in the comments one more time. It's down in the description. Um, thank you for uh, everything you're able to give. This allows us to pay our leaders and uh, keep musicians with a, a tiny amount of work, a few gigs here and there uh, during these strange times. And Chris is the traditional thank you giver at the end, so I'll I pass it yes. over to you. So, um, thanks to Maura and Connor of Rakish. Fantastic tunes tonight. Thank you for those. And um, who else is on? Brenda, thanks for mm -hmm. um, the lovely set. And of course, special thanks to Matthew Olwell for the steps. Yes, and um, I'm going to do an additional thanks to our reports from the field since, yeah, since they, they involved really performance. Good, yeah. James Cleveland, uh, Fong Solvent, uh, what's mm -hmm. Fong's last name? Solvent, Solvent yeah. yeah. And um, Bob Beamers for, for their lovely, lovely reports. Yes, and excellent editing. field reporting. Yes, so we will see you for. Um, Slow session. I don't want to call it a slow session. Yeah. Common Maybe. tunes at reasonable speeds. What's the acronym for that? Common tunes. Kata. C T A R S. Kar Katars. 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 It's a Katar session. Yeah. That sounds like the country. It does. Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll think about the name. Um, we'll see you on Thursday for that. Uh, enjoy your week. Stay safe. Um, okay. We're thinking about you. Good night. Okay. Good night.